Outrocast. How's your day going aside from answering the same questions over and over and over again? Oh, I don't mind that at all. So today has been fantastic. Thanks. How about yourself? Nonstop, but good. And the first question I have is, do you like your character to be called Smiley, Smile Creature, Creature number three? It's all different names all over the place. No worries. Smiley. Now, having that name, does that put extra pressure on you for taking photos and photo ops and smiling in general? None whatsoever. I love doing it. All I got to do is just, all I got to do is just smile. Me be me with the smile on and hey, away we go. When you got the sides, how much about smiling was there for the show? How much about smiling? A little smiling in general. Oh, oh, the smiling, I just smiled whenever the direction was given. So if I was given a direction to smile, just, okay. So no problem. So took that with ease. There you go. And this was the character that you read and properly auditioned for, or is it just sprung upon you where they saw you were great and went, this is for you? Actually, I never auditioned for it because with season one, I started out, no, because in season one, I started out as a background creature. Mm -hmm. So there was no audition as such. And then I guess after the feedback season one got and what fans and viewers saw and commented, I guess maybe they wanted to see more of Smiley and here it is now. So in other words, you are a positive focus group story. Yeah. Yes, I would. I can honestly say that I'm glad the show has evolved into what it has been. It's just been an exciting show for me to work with and watch from day one. Right. Well, what I'm saying by the positive focus group is a lot of shows, people watch it and then the network gets notes of, oh, that person shouldn't be in so much. In your case, the people really received you well and went, put this guy on more. And here we are. Yes, I, I'm equally intimidating. And yet people like hearing from me or seeing me at the same time. It's like, you're so scary. I love you pretty much. It's, it's like out of context, it's sort of getting a mixed reaction here or like initially I'm just like, I guess I'll take that as a compliment, but I just, you know, I just say thank you. And I appreciate you saying that. Well, I think that means that you're pretty unforgettable and <laughs> let's face it, who works more, the unforgettable people or the forgettable people? That's very true. <laughs> and I, uh, I'm glad I'm glad the show in its entirety has been getting the recognition it has been. Sure. Well, two quick questions and I'll let you go. And the first question is, are you allowed to talk about any other upcoming projects that you have or is it all from an MGM plus for the rest of time? I'm afraid I really can't comment on that right now. Sorry, buddy. OK. Uh, the last question I have is, what is life like for you outside of from? Outside of from no one? I'd say life's pretty good and I don't know what's going to happen in my future, but I love the industry that much. I can't wait to see what the future brings. There you go. Well, I also knew of you from kids versus aliens. I interviewed the director, Jason, and it's cool okay. to see you in that and this as well. So really looking forward to that top secret next project of yours. All right. Thank you. Outrocast.